Welcome to the exercise program that's designed to totally stretch you out. And now, here's your host and workout partner, Beverly. Thank you so much for joining me today for exercise. We'll have a wonderful workout together. So let's get started. We'll do a few exercises to warm ourselves up and get ready. So let's just reach out with our right arm and stretch over there like you have something to go in that palm and then come up nice and easy. Slightly bend your knees, keep your shoulders back, your abdominal muscles in, tighten up right through the, your seat. And uh, we want, this is your pelvic girdle and we want to get that working. Keep everything right where it belongs so that we can really get tremendous benefit from our time together. Don't you love it when you exercise and you know you're getting that benefit? I tell you, we're waking up some lazy muscles today. Now bring those arms down and do a nice, easy little stretch. Shout glory. Say, I am so thankful I am able to exercise. Now let's bend right down from our hips and do a nice little palm and knuckle over in front of our left foot, back to the center, over to the right foot. Nice and easy does it. Now as you come back to the center, stick your chin out, roll your back up slowly, lift your shoulders as high as you can. That's it. Up there nice and high. We want them to work so well. We want to enjoy this day. Yes. Now let's reverse that all the way around. I am so glad that over 45 years ago, I discovered exercise glory. Now let's do a nice little uh, a step right in place. They tell us that this is one of the best warm-up exercises one can do. Now if you would um, separate your knees there, you've got that abdominal wall pulled in, tucked under through the seat. You have your shoulders back. You have good posture. That's it. Let's bring our arms out to the side, flex our fingers, big smile on our faces, and we are about to work the body. Now I'm starting with arms today, but I'm gonna be doing waist work. We're gonna do stomach work or abdominal work, and then we're gonna end the program today with hip and thigh work. So you'll be working your entire body. Now let's go backwards, nice and easy does it. Anytime I do too many, you bring your arms down, you shake them out, rest them for a moment, and then come right back. And a short rest period will just kind of revive you and get you right ready to come right back. Now let's bring them down, come up this time, pull twice, and then do a nice stretch. That's it. Oh, yes. Our bodies really respond to exercise. They really do. And uh, so we're gonna give them some good exercise. We want to develop our muscles. We want to burn fat with aerobic exercise. We want to eat healthy. We want to be water drinkers. We want to have all those good health habits that will give us excellent, excellent health. Even as we get older, we can have wonderful health. And the great news is if you start a healthy, lifestyle when you're young, then as you grow older, you're going to grow older with health and life is going to be so much easier for you. Now bring your arms down very gently. Just do a nice little release. Now working our waist once again with those knees bent, shoulders back. Let's reach up for the left wrist and pull over to the right. I want to talk to you today about they say when you start a new diet, you need to get it right and get it tight. So listen right up. You need to listen to this. Don't you buy into any diet that isn't sensible. Don't buy into any diet that, elim that eliminates all of the food groups. That is no good. You need something out of every one of those food groups. So you got to get that new diet right and you got to get it tight. Now they tell us if you don't like greens, you're not going to stick with a diet that you know, promotes Brussels sprouts. You're not going to do it. But greens are so good for you. The number one vegetable they tell us for nutrition now um, is kale. It's just a wonderful, wonderful, new, uh, nutritious vegetable. 
But they said what you can do in the case of a, of a vegetable like collards or like kale or like spinach, which is, off, is really, really nutritious, is just try sauteing it in a little bit of chicken broth. You know, just saute it right in there. Cut you up some onion. Okay, now we did that wrist. Let's go over and do the other side now with the opposite wrist. And you know, just saute it in a little chicken broth and add a little onions and then maybe a little cut up chicken. And you can get the greens into your diet by doing that, see? Um, it would just be a little bit easy for you to eat it if you don't care for greens. I love greens. I know they're so nutritious and I'm going to tell you, it's kind of like having a fine automobile. If you want it to, to run right, you've got to put good fuel in it. So our bodies, we've got to treat them the same way. We want them to run right, don't we? Okay, now bring those arms down. Do a few steps again. Step out with your right foot. Hand at the thigh. Now get your balance. We're also working balance. Let's pull over there to the right and then back up. Yes, these floor exercises help to work on your balance, and uh, uh, that's good. We want to keep our balance and our coordination and all as we get older. Now, we don't want to fall into yo-yo dieting, and they tell us when you start uh, skipping food groups, and you're just doing certain foods to lose weight, what happens? You get into star starvation diets, and then you get into binging. And that's what they call yo-yo dieting. Um, you just, you're just completely out of control, and this does a lot of harm to your body. So we want to be real sensible eaters and eat the good stuff that'll give us energy and vitality. Yes. There you go, you're doing a good job for me today. Now let's carefully come up, release that a little bit, step out on the opposite side, and then stretch over. Have you noticed that once you start exercising and you put, put it in a place in your schedule, maybe every day you get out of bed and you exercise with me at six o'clock in the morning, for example, after a while, it gets to be a habit. You just say, I start my day that way. I exercise at six o'clock. Well, they tell us that's what you have to have to stick with any lifestyle change, like exercise. You have to make it a habit. And it takes about 60 days to create that habit. That's the way I got started. I made it a habit. I found somebody on TV over 45 years ago, and I started exercising first thing in the morning, and I had a place. It's the same with your devotions. You want to have a place in your schedule where you meet with the Lord, and you have your devotions, and it becomes a good habit. We are creatures of habit. Some are good, and some are not so good, but today we've got that good habit going. We are exercising glory. Now, let's do another little release, and we'll come down very gracefully now. No moans and groans. Let's come down and stretch out right from our hips. Oh, yes. Reach for the ceiling. Fold down. Back up. Point your toes all the way down. Stretch down, and then back up. One more time. Down there and then back up, and then a nice release. And let's separate our legs today. Sit up on our sitting bones, reach up, stretch down, out to the center, and then over again. And then back up, a nice big stretch. That's it. Oh yes, we are working today. We are going to have more energy. We are going to feel better. Yes, we are. This article I was reading, <laughs> it said, remember, don't eat ice cream to make yourself feel better. When you're feeling lonely, you want somebody to love you, and oh, you're all alone. Oh, some ice cream would just make me feel so much better. It said, listen, it's not going to do it. So I got a big chuckle out of that. Are you like that? I know, I have, I have thought. Having some ice cream would definitely make me feel better. But there is a place in your diet for an occasional 
treat. Now let's twist in the opposite direction, but you gotta be careful not letting your feelings dictate when you need to get something sweet or something crunchy to eat because that's a tra trap and you don't wanna do that. You wanna stay on the right course. That is it, you are doing a wonderful job. Yes, I was reading about sitting and how dangerous it is. I'm telling you, they tell us that some people sit eight hours a day, some people even sit 15 hours a day. Can you imagine? Now the left hand, let's reach down there and then pull back up. But they were saying that it's really, really dangerous. And um, the major disease that sitting brings on, number one, it's diabetes. And then number two, it is heart disease. So make some time for some exercise in your schedule. If you have a job that keeps you sitting for a long time, you really need to get up and move your body. Exercise is movement. Now on the opposite side, let's stretch down there and then back up. Even if you just stand for a while, it is so much better for you. You'll burn more calories than sitting if you just get up and stand. So just remember that we don't want to sit for a long period of time. It's too hard on us. Brings on diabetes and heart disease and other complications. Wonderful. Okay, now work in the inner thighs today. I'm going to lift my left foot and bring it over the right one and then back. That is it. You know, inner thighs are an area of your body that are really hard to get to. But when you do exercises like this, you strengthen that inner thigh. And as a result of doing that, you'll be a better walker. You really will be. Yes. Oh boy, we're getting strong today. Now let's straighten ourselves up and then lift the other one and come across there. Yes. Are you getting your medical checkups on a regular basis? Uh, especially as you get older, you need to do that. Get your blood work done and have the necessary tests done. I, I recently had a DEXA scan done and uh, I found out I had shrunk another half an inch and I thought, oh no, please, I'm short. But that's an indication of bone loss. So I had to, you know, go see, go back and see my doctor about that. And uh, it looks like now I'm gonna have to get a prolea shot every six months to hang on to my bone mass. And I thought, well, you know, if I want to keep doing Beverly exercise, I've got to have some bones. But the thing that was in the back of my mind, folks, is I've been exercising, doing this floor exercise for over 45 years. Muscles pulling on the bones, strengthen the bones. So where would my bones be had it not been for my Beverly exercise, right? Okay, we're going to work the abdominal area. Exhale as you roll up, nice and easy. Remember, if you can't do it that way, start up like this and come back and hold and then back up. Start that way in the beginning. Then after a while, you'll get stronger and you'll be able to do it this way. But yes, I had cancer when I was 61, third stage colon cancer, and I had to go through six months of chemo and I lost a lot of mineral bone mass as a result of that. And I had to go through bone treatment programs, Fosamax for eight years twice, and for Teo shots for two years to save my bones. And I got my mineral bone mass built back up. But now that I'm 76 years of age, <laughs> um, my bones start losing some more mineral bone mass. So that's why I have to go to every six months getting a bone infusion. But glory to God, I'm so thankful that medical science has come up with this. Now let's reach for that imaginary rope. God is good. <laughs> He's provided for me so many times. You're doing great, so you be encouraged. That is wonderful. Okay, now let's strengthen our backs and we'll do that great exercise. We're in, we bring one knee in, stretch out the opposite leg, hold it, 
bring the elbows out, good. And then on the opposite side, right out there, that is great. Oh, what a good back strengthener this is. When you first start the program, remember to do a lot of these. When I'm doing more than you can handle, come back and do your back strengthener. Get your back strong. And then roll up one vertebra at a time. Lift and tighten your seat muscles. And then slowly, all the way down, bringing your stomach right into your backbone. Your fingers should not go underneath your back. And uh, that's really good for strengthening your back. Now this time, as we come up, we'll bring our right knee and then our left one. That's it. One comes up and then the opposite one. I was reading that lifestyle is so important, uh, especially a healthy diet when it comes to preventing diabetes. We learned earlier that not sitting helps to prevent it, but also a healthy diet. And when you have a healthy lifestyle, that is the greatest thing you can do to prevent diabetes, even if it runs in your family. Don't claim it. Just say, I'm going to eat right, and I'm going to exercise, and I'm not claiming diabetes. Glory. <laughs> That's what I say. Now, for a bit of a challenge, and we do love our challenges, we're going to reach up for opposite ankle. One ankle and then the other one. Isn't it wonderful that we can lift our bodies up? I think it is. Wonderful. Oh, that is strengthening. Oh, glory, that's strengthening. Now this time, let's do another one where we lift up. And it's good for the balance also. Just lift, stretch our legs out, hold, get ourselves balanced. That is it. You're doing great. And then slowly. That slowly coming back down is wonderful. <laughs> okay, up there, out there and hold. Oh, great. Wonderful. <laughs> and then all the way back down. And if you can't do them all in the beginning, just remember, you are going to get stronger every day. Glory. That's what I say. Glory to God. You know, to think that you can build your body up one day at a time. Yes, you can. Okay, reach up there. I'm using my little handheld weights. But if you don't have weights, just touch your fingertips together behind your head and pull up. That's it. Exhale on the hardest part. That is wonderful. Rest for a moment. And then opposite knee and elbow together and back down. Opposite, opposite together, opposite, opposite together, and opposite, opposite together. Oh, that was wonderful, absolutely wonderful. With our knees right over us, we're going to do opposite knee to elbow again. This way, that's it. You'll have a flat tummy for sure. Exhale. You're doing great. Now this time with our knees together, elbows down, let's raise our knees up and come down and touch on one side. Make sure your elbows stay down and then right over on the opposite side, elbows down. That's great. Oh, you're doing, you're just doing fantastic. That's it, good. And then for our sciatica, so important to do the sciatica stretch. We'll bring the knee in, stretch up, go way over to that hand and hold it. Back up, bend it, and down. And then on the opposite side, lift up, stretch way over, back up, bend, and back down. Knees back in and feet up. Now this time, let's make circles with our ankles. We have to take care of our feet and ankles and then reverse it all the way around. That's it. And then roll on the outside and then the inside of your foot, the outside and the inside, and then point and flex. If you're traveling by car and you're the passenger, 
do some exercises like this, or if you're flying in an airplane, uh, do some exercises, just simple exercises like this with your feet. It aids um, the circulation in your body. It'll make you feel better, and you'll be glad that you did that. Now let's come over on the abdominal section, all the way over there. Okay, let's see what I got to tell you. I always like to look at my music stand. Okay, dear friend, lift the left leg with a pointed toe first. Let's lift up there and then back down. Oh yes, you're just doing, you're doing a wonderful job. Um, be a label reader. If you're able to read that label on a food can or a box before you bring it home, do that. See how many calories is in that product. Look at the serving size and see, you know, how many calories are in a serving. If it's 100 calories in a serving, but there are three servings in that product and you eat the whole thing, then you have 300 calories. So that is so important. Now on the right leg, remember that processed food has so much more sodium in it and hidden fat and sugar. So you wanna stay away from processed food. Have more fruits and vegetables, whole grains. Make half of your plate fruits and vegetables. When you do that, you get that fiber in there and that helps to fill you up and make you feel better. Yes, and you won't eat so much. Now lift both legs and let's do a backward, backward scissor. And that's a good one. Just grip those seat muscles. They were telling us if you want to uh, eliminate gaining weight at parties, socialize more, talk more and eat less. I'll go along with that. They said you'd have a better time. <laughs> oh yes. And you're not gonna be all depressed the next day because you ate the whole thing. You see, you were out there visiting, so I like that. Now, do you exercise in the morning? Now let's come right up on our knees this time. We're gonna lift our left bent knee up and back down. Well, I exercise in the morning, and they tell us that when you exercise in the morning, that you're gonna move more during the day. And they did a test wherein they showed all these ladies this rich food. Oh, it was delicious looking. And anyway, they told them then that they could have some of it if they wanted it. And the ones that ate, exercised in the morning were able to turn it down. <laughs> but the ones that didn't exercise in the morning, <laughs> they were saying, bring it on and <laughs> bring on that food. So isn't it great to know that exercising in the morning, you'll move more and you'll turn down tempting things that have sent you away. Now on the right side, let's lift up and then back down. I like that. Yes, I did. I thought, my goodness, so much. Whenever you feel like you, you can feel a craving going on, they tell us to go for the water. Many times you can be thirsty and you can absolutely think that you're hungry. And if you just have that water, you won't need the food. So I have a friend that's always telling me that she's craving, let's come back and rest for a moment, craving hot dogs. And I said, just get that water out, drown it. <laughs> I said, you just think you're being tempted, you've got to have it. And I said, do the left leg up behind us, out the side and down. She says, Beverly, I get a craving. I said, drown that craving. <laughs> Give it a big old drink of water. We're going from our left leg to our right one with this one. It really works the hips. It does a good job. But you know, that is a good tip for you. Now, are you aware of the fact that vinegar causes your body to absorb less of the carbohydrates that you eat. That's what they're telling us. And also that it turns on a process uh, that, that burns fat. The machinery for burning fat is activated with a little vinegar. So, you know, having a salad or vegetables and, you know, having some vinegar there is real important. Anything to help you you know, store all those carbohydrates as fat. I was really glad to hear that. Now let's come back and take a little break and do a little circle there for your wrist. That'll help you. 
I'm telling you it will. It just makes it feel better. Okay, now let's work on the left foot. We're gonna lift up and then lift from a lifted position. That's it. Oh, you're doing a good job. You really are. Um, you've got to be encouraged because life can get you down, but when you take time to exercise, you're making an investment in your health and it pays off with big dividends. Now let's go over on the opposite side and do that little lift. Uh, I was reading in 2 Peter 1.8. Well, my Sunday school teacher was teaching and he's a pastor and he was telling us about the virtues that we're given when we're born again. They're just put inside of us. Like, you know, about like temperance and kindness and patience and godliness and brotherly kindness and charity. All that moves in and you get a new lifestyle. And he says that what happens, we get so full of all those good virtues that we slosh out on other people. Isn't that exciting? Don't you want to slosh out on somebody? Now let's lift it with our legs straight behind us right there. And uh, I said, oh man, that's me. I want all that. And God put that in there when he saved me. But when I renew myself in his word and I stay close to him, then I get filled up. And then all of those virtues are sloshing out of me onto other people. And I like that. That's what the Spirit does. It works in us where we overflow. And then it goes on to tell us that we won't be barren and unfruitful when we're filled with those virtues. Now, on the right-hand side, let's lift up and back down. And I said, man, I want, I want all that sloshing out of me all the time on to other people. The love of the Lord. And I want to be bearing fruit. And, I mean, it can happen. But, boy, I got to get my... I got to be filled with those virtues and, and serve the Lord. And uh, I hope today that that turns you on. They say that when you aren't filled with them, that you become blind and you can't see afar off. And I don't want that to be you or me. We don't want to be blind. As we're running out of time today, I just have time to thank you and I pray God will bless you. Thank you for watching Beverly Exercise. For a donation of $20, you will receive a copy of this program plus an additional 30-minute program. When requesting a specific program, please note the program number. For more information on books, DVDs, and other items to assist you in your fitness program, you may visit beverlyexercise.com. Write to Beverly Exercise, P.O. Box 1616, Greenville, South Carolina, 29602, or call 864-244-1660. Be sure to join us next time for Beverly Exercise. Beverly Exercise is a production of Dove Broadcasting Incorporated of Greenville, South Carolina.